unboxing first of the year. Just in time for WrestleMania, it is WrestleNomicon. Woo! Um, the old ones are back and ready to throw down. So, this is the newest game from Arc Dream Publishing. It is, um, you know, they, they, they've kind of made their name with cthulhu -y things. They were the people who make uh, Delta Green as their uh, big main thing. Um, World's are back and ready to throw down. It's the grudge match to end them all. Pick up a great old one and grab, smash, and obliterate your opponent. Designed by Rob Heinsu of Dungeons and & Dragons and Three Dragon Ante, Dennis Detweiler of Delta Green and Prototype, and Shane Ivey from Delta Green and The Unspeakable Oath. It is beer and pretzels fun with brains and tentacles. So, let's work with Fire Opal and Arc Dream. It is, um, basically, you it's a 1v1 between Cthulhu and Haster. Um, they have other gods in the works right now. On their kick, this is currently on Kickstarter through April nineteenth. Um, they have uh, in some of the stretch goals. They have uh, I believe two other elder gods, one of which is uh, Nyarlathotep, and I think Yog Sothoth. Um, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but I have, this is the base game um, for Sonomicon, and. Um, Let's look what's inside of it. So, compact box. It's a card game, so it's not really super intense on the pieces, but it's got a few little crudemals attached to it. It's not stay. So, first thing is the the rule book, um, which is you know a rule book. It's well, um, <laughs> uh, you know, printed glossy. Um, really good explanation of things, a glossary at the end of it, you gotta love that. So, the basis of the game is it's essentially you play a card and a card uh, does, and you attack each other. But it has a, this interesting mechanic of a ground zero, this ground zero thing. Because the great old ones um, don't fight like we would expect them to. They don't just meet up and punch each other. What they do is they fight across dimensions and across space and time. So what these are is these are the, this is the track of um, of of where we are in our attack. So you can see each one is one, two, um, three, all the way up to you can see. We get to six, and it is, um, we are at the intergalactic level, um, but, and so that is the, that's the track. So basically you start all attacks out here, and they move to each turn until they get to the titular point, which was somewhere, uh, Ground zero. Now, ground zero is where the attack hits, or you know, whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> um, so, basically, the goal of the game it's not just a do more damage to your opponent, which is the end goal. It's also strategically using your cards to um, move your own cards down the track till they get to ground zero and can slam. Um, guts is you keep track of your guts, that's your health. You have a card for your deck if you're Cthulhu or uh, Haster. Um, Haster being the uh, god from the king in yellow. We have our cults, the cult of Cthulhu in all his technically goodness. Um, Cthulhu's main focus being um, he's a he's a combo heavy character, whereas Haster uses a lot of permanents, um, and and long and cultists do thief steal and mess with things. So it's a little bit different. This is the cult of Haster. Of course, you have your 
permanents, which you lay out, um, and they're like a permanent magic, but they just do them for a long time. We have our discard piles, which we have each one of them. And this is an important thing to remember. It is basically rock, paper, scissors, and I'll show you on the I will show you on the uh, card what these are, but basically each attack has its own type. Um, Bizarre is um, I believe Bizarre is an attack that gains you cultists, which if it's used against someone using a dominant attack, um, it does extra things depending on the card. Dominance is a card draw effect, which usually beats ranged. Ranged is a that bumps enemy cards, which beats vis viscera, which is basically just blood and guts attack. Um, and viscera beats bizarre. So while you're, in addition to strategically thinking about how to do the most damage to your opponent and move your cards down, you're also thinking of doing extra damage with your uh, rock, paper, scissors here. So let's look at the cards themselves. Now these are really nice because they're not playing card sized, um, like you see in a lot of card games, which is fine, um, you know. But instead, it is well, there we go, tarot card sized, so it's a little bit bigger. So these are the you can see the back of the Cthulhu one. It's kind of got this cool. Um, Oh, like kind of, you know, Cthulhu, -y, but kind of like ancient aesthetic to it. Um, and you, know, you can look. You, we've got uh, things like, um, and, you know, and, and there. Th this is not a serious game, as you would expect from a game about wrestling old gods. Um, so you have things like the Rocky Mountains broke my fall. Um, Let's see. See here we have Fistful of Cultists, which is a bizarre card and gains you cultists. Um, it's a <laughs> Cthulhu punching you with a fist covered in in cultists. Um, when it lands, you gain two cultists, um, and it does two guts. Now, if you are slamming a dominance, it also gets you another cultist and another damage. Now, right here. Right there, if you look, can you see it? Yeah, right there. Uh, that is the, um, when you place this card down, it starts on four, as opposed to at the very end. Every card will have a different one of these. And then this tells you how far the thing moves. So this one moves one. So the deep ones, the really a shuffle, the moon is a harsh mistress. Hands up your nose, right between the eyes. It's just a lot of fun things. Here's him being the doctor of Cthulhu-nomics. Represent. <laughs> um, and here's our cult of the cultist card. It's just, uh, it's just really a lot of fun. Now the art is, woo -hoo -hoo, they had a lot of fun with this art. Um, so this is mostly Squamous. It's a permanent that when you play it, it does one damage and it makes bizarre attacks slam bizarre attacks. But look at that art. Uh, don't like that. Uh, just a lot of a lot of grossness in this. Um, but you know, it's stuff. It's just a lot of different funs attacks. Um, the mountain that walks and pummels. Coldest pylon. Uh, there's a lot of really um, clever references to different things in the Cthulhu universe. There's some that are just kind of stupid, like the Macarena, really a remix. There he is dancing. All the single cultists. Um, yeah, look, surgery between friends. You just go into town on uh, on old Haster there. She the Vicera ones. Vicera art is always. Whew, Always super gross, um, but has some interesting effects. Um, so that's pretty straightforward when it comes to these. Um, everybody poops. Um, what? What face? What face? 
Sears Tower to the crotch, excuse me, they've renamed that, how dare you. Um, pocket Dimension of Whoop Ass. So some of them are, um, uh, some of them repeat, obviously, because it's, you know, attacks. Um, some of them are more powerful than others. Um, it's just a neat little grouping of jokes, the silly thing. So that is the Cthulhu deck. Now the Cthulhu deck, again, is based heavily on combos um, and doing things that do damage um, thanks to mixes of things and pairings. The Haster deck, Haster, 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 uh, the king in yellow himself, uh, is different in that he uses focus head more heavily on cultists and permanents for his creation of things. So, we've got the Elbow of the Living God. It's kind of there. One of the big ones. Um, you can see the back of these. You can also see has the same kind of that Greek ancient pottery like aesthetic for Haster. Um, and all his weird glory. Dinner theater. He's got kind of this... He's a bit more... He's a bit more um, theatrical with his... Um, this thing. She has slam dancing woolly masters, which I love. Um, you know, he's a king. You know, he's a king and he's, he's got stuff to do. Here's his cultist cards. Like I said, you can see they're kind of, mm -hmm. um, ennui, it's me. Uh, see, he has more permanent. So you can see permanent and permanent. He has carnage and carcosa. See? Uh, which you play after a slam attack of the combo, um, lets you play a from your hand. The Vibe. Ooh, that, that's more trippy art on that. Um, a lot of the stuff in here is either gross or it's trippy. Gonna be the King. Featuring from afar at Buffet Prices. Death by a Thousand Artists. That's worrying. Um, strains, Moons, Rise, and You're in the Way. I'm back, I'm always back. Crazies plus knives equals fun. So much fog. Uh, the king in yellow. One page to go. Squishy face. Uh, <laughs> I disbelieve my own death. Welcome to the ball and I'll give me yours. Um, so yeah, it's not a... Uh, I, do so, I do so have tentacles. Um, so it's, it's not a game to take itself seriously. Which is not necessarily a new thing for the Cthulhu mythos or for um, Dark Dream in general. You know, they make some truly horrifying, um, and I mean this in a good, mean that in a good way, truly horrifying content with Delta Green. Um, and this gets right in with that because it is poof, it's kind of squicky, but it is still um, hilarious. Um, so it's not something that you're going to be, sit there and be like, Oh, this is going to be serious. It's something, it's intended to be like a bar game or a party game. Um, you sit down, you lay this stuff out, and you just go and you beat each other up and you make jokes and it, it's fun. Um, so, uh, currently you can check out the Kickstarter for, um, for this. Is It's on Kickstarter. It'll be linked, it'll be linked in the description, um, obviously. Um, the, it runs through April 19th, like I said. Um, oh dear. Um, and it retails, it, it, the, 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 the base level, if I remember correctly, um, comes with, uh, uh it's about 25, 24 to $25, I'm going to do all this, plus, um, there's a contest happening between, uh, Cthulhu and Haster, naturally, uh, they're fighting for, for dominance, and the winner of the... Um, the the winner gets a special unique um, card that they get for winning. So if you're a supporter of the Dread Lord Cthulhu or the King in Yellow Haster, um, you should you will get to change get to choose which one you support, and the winner will get a special deck. Now they they are fighting for dominance. Uh, so if you support the uh, Haster or the Red Lord Cthulhu, uh, be sure to uh, check out that Kickstarter. Uh, and of course, the higher levels get you things like the Yard of Hotep and the other things. Um, and of course, if they hit their stretch goals, they unlock 
new stuff, um, a lot of little feelies, a lot of goodies, as you know, Art Dream is really good about that. Um, but if you want something kind of fun, it's kind of silly, uh, that still scratches that cthulhu -y itch, um, and is really very affordable for a card game and very high quality, uh, definitely check out that Kickstarter back that. I believe it's set to ship uh, later this year, possibly early 2020, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I'll have all that information and more um, on my full review of this for the Fundamentals once I get a chance to play it. As you see, I've just opened it. Uh, so once I've played it, I'll give you the full details. And you can check below for a link to the Kickstarter. Until then, praise Cthulhu and happy gaming. Yeah, yeah.